So today's class is all about breathing and we'll be putting ourselves in positions, adding stress to the core that um, helps you breathe better, helps you breathe better. So if you have poor posture or um, if your core isn't strong, things like this help us feel very out of breath. So like, you know, short breaths, stagnant, like, <laughs> like you want to be able to take a full inhale and take a full exhale. And there's a lot of things that impact this kind of breath work. So um, just kind of before we get started, I want you to find a comfortable seated position or you can lay on the floor and Hi, Serena. Oh, stormy weather in the Netherlands. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about the 3D breath. So take your hands to your ribs. And your breath is supposed to go three ways, up and down, left and right, and then front and back. And you want to embody this. So you want the ribs to expand on your inhale. So use your hands on your ribs and just inhale. Feel how much your ribs can help you expand. And then on your exhale, feel the ribs close off. Good. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, feel the ribs expand. And exhale, feel them come together. And let's do that one more time. And I'm going to bring up something called the Uddiyana Bandha. It is optional, but I will bring it up in class today. Breathe in. And breathe out, exhale, use your hands to help you. Good. Now if you're in seated, bring your fingertips to the floor so you're slightly leaning over your shins or your knees or however you're seated. And the Uddiyana Bandha is something called retention. And um, retention is when you've exhaled all of your breath out and you're just pausing in that exhale. So when we exhale in our Uddiyana Bandha, we exhale everything out, and then we use our muscles to help pull the low belly up and inwards. So up and into the ribs, and it feels like a vacuum. And I know that sounds weird, but we'll practice it here. So take a breath in, we're on our fingertips. Exhale out the nose or mouth and maybe even stick your tongue out to like get all the extra out. <sighs> and then keep it all out and pull that low belly in towards your spine and upwards into your ribs and it should feel kind of weird. And if you feel it in your throat, tuck your chin a little bit. And then on your inhale, you just slowly let it release, inhale. And we'll do that two more times, exhale, all the breath out. <sighs> then inhale. It's really hard to uh, teach this and talk at the same time. One more time. Inhale. Exhale it all out. Breathe everything out. Out, 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 out. <sighs> Pull that low belly in and up. and then inhale, slowly release. So it's up to you how long you hold those retentions. And also, if you don't like it, don't do it. Like, I'm not, not gonna force you to it. It's just something we're adding on to our practice today. All right, now let's get into the heat of it. Come onto your back. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. And you wanna make sure you cannot touch your heels. So this type of practice we're doing today, it's called Lit Yoga. It's based off of um, the principles of physical therapy. So we'll be trying to move with alignment to help us breathe better. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, just feel the ribs come together, the abdominals come together like a webbing. Squeeze your glutes and lift your hips two to three inches off the floor. You're not lifting high. You're trying to tune in to these glutes. And as you hold this glute bridge, reach your hands up towards the ceiling and stretch out the wrists. 
If you want to add a little bit of pulsing, you can lower the hips and lift the hips an inch. Not big movements, just enough to wake up the low core. If you feel this in your knees, please walk your feet a little bit further away. Go ahead and stretch out the left wrist. Ooh, feel that burn. Oh. <laughs> Good, hold your glute bridge momentarily, pause in it. Interlace your fingers together. So you're holding hands with yourself. And then punch your fist up towards the ceiling and reach it far overhead without these ribs lifting. So you're trying to move only in the shoulders with the hands interlaced. And this is where we bring in that Uddiyana Bandha. So take a breath in. Exhale it all out. Draw, draw in that low belly up. And then slowly lower your upper middle and lower back on that retention. And then inhale, lift the hips. Exhale it all out. Hold that retention, pull the belly in and up and lower the upper back, middle back, and lower back. It should maybe feel a little weird. It should not be painful. So if you feel pain, just stick to your normal breath. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, use the glutes, lift up. Exhale, all that breath out. Let go of the CO2. And then pull the Uddiyana Bandha in and up and lower your upper back, middle back, and lower back and then inhale, slowly let it release. You can bring your hands back to a normal position. Let's move into abdominals now. So abdominal strength, there's so much more than this six pack that we always see on top. There's, you know, there's a bunch of crisscross layers and we want to use all of that to help our diaphragm move up and down. And so we can take those fuller inhales and exhales. Bring the hands behind the head, elbows point up. Take a breath in. On your exhale, let it all out. Feel like there's tension here to come up off of the head and shoulders. So as you come up, you look down and you just see like a nice flat flatness. You're not trying to dome. You just come up and it's like, ah, oh, okay, there's my low belly. My sacrum's on the floor, and you feel that tightening. And then inhale, lower down. Exhale, come up. Good. From here, keeping that exhale, you're going to bring the left knee over the left hip. And then inhale, lower down, lower that left foot. Exhale, come up. Right knee over the right hip. Ooh, good. Inhale, right foot down, lower down. See if you can challenge yourself. How long can you hold that exhale before you breathe in next? Exhale, come up. Left knee over the left hip. This time, turn a little bit to the left. Kind of reaching that right elbow towards the left knee and try to stay off this left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Lower the left foot, lower down. Exhale, come up, right knee over right hip, small twist to the right. This abdominal work is pretty fun, right? <laughs> Inhale, come back to center, lower the right foot, lower down. One more time each side. Exhale, come up, left knee over left hip, small twist. And now maybe reach your right hand forward above that knee. And then reach your right hand behind you so your bicep is in line with your right ear. And then inhale, come back to center, lower down. Exhale, come up. Right knee over the right hip. Small twist. Reach the left hand. And then maybe bring the left bicep in line with the left ear. Ooh, add that challenge. And then bring the hand behind the head. Come back to center. And lower down. Oh, give yourself a hug by bringing the knees into the chest. And then in your own way, come on up to your forearms and knees. So hopefully by now you're feeling a little bit more organized. 
Um, this class is called Restructure to Breathe. So we're restructuring our body to breathe better. Elbows are under the shoulders. So I like to grab opposite elbows to make sure that they're in the right place. And then interlace your fingers together. I like to tuck in that bottom pinky so it's not being crushed. And then from here, let's do four uh, puffs up into our shoulders. So in this position, I'm in a neutral spine. And then as I exhale, I'm pushing into my elbows and trying to reach behind my upper back towards the ceiling. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, puff up, feel the low belly pull in two. Two more, inhale, center. Exhale, puff up. Yeah, that looks great. Good job. One more time. Inhale. And as you exhale and puff up, curl the toes under and lift the hips for a dolphin pose. Your knees can be as bent as you want them to be. Keeping them bent also kind of helps free up the hamstrings and that low back area. So bend them. Good. You can stay here. This can sometimes be your best friend. If you'd like to, you're more than welcome to lift the left leg and bend the left knee. From here, just circle in the hip joint. So we're adding a stress to our core. So keep drawing that low belly just a little bit in. So just that there's slight abdominal tone. Go the other direction. Try not to fall to the outer edge of your bottom foot. And then go ahead and lower the left toes. Lift the right leg, use that right glute, bend the right knee and circle in the right hip. So still here, adding that stress because our shoulders are part of the diaphragm. Go the other way, restructure. What does it mean to breathe? And then go ahead and lower your right toes, lower your knees, rest here in child's pose for a moment. Feeling the way that your chest kind of wants to expand downwards. Maybe you try to invite it to expand into the back. Exhale. Maybe you try that Uddiyana Banda feeling here at the bottom of your exhale. Maybe you don't, and that's okay. And then in your own way, come on up to stand at the top of your mat. a lot right <laughs> take a moment here to feel how you breathe so you just you're in standing now instead of seated do you feel more confident of your breath do you feel more sure of it can you expand into your hands a little bit more and if you can't yet that's okay because we're going to move some more inhale reach the arms forward in front of you and then upwards and as you do that, feel the ribs lift out of your pelvis. So can you get that length? And then on your exhale, sit back in your hips and bring the hands to the floor. Or blocks. <laughs> Step the right foot back. Lower your right knee underneath the right hip. And inhale, come up here to, uh, this is like a half kneel. So my left ankle is in line with the left knee and my right hip is um, over that right knee. And from here, just roll your shoulders. The shoulders also connect to your ribs, which connect to the core. And as you roll, can you feel your ribs move left and right? That right glute is working. Good, and then on your exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Step back into high plank. Lower your knees. Feel even here that low belly pulling up and in the glutes working and lower to the floor. On your inhale, the heart lifts. Draw the shoulder blades together. Can you open your chest more while still using those glutes? Good. And then push the ground away as you inhale and lift the hips up and back into down dog. From here, slide that right foot forward. Lower the left knee. Inhale, come up into half kneel on the other side. Roll your shoulders. Left glute is on, low belly's drawing in. 
Good. You really want that knee underneath the hip so you feel structurally supported. So you don't want it back here because it's um, kind of moving into uh, different ligaments. And then on your next exhale, bring the fingertips to the floor. Step forward. Use your glutes to come up to stand. Inhale, expand. Exhale, sit back, hands to the floor. Inhale, left foot goes back. Lower the left knee. You can keep the toes curled under this time. And inhale, arms reach up. So can you get space here? And then bring the hands to the ribs and try to breathe into your hands. If this feels fine to you, maybe you bring your hands in front and back and try to breathe into your back hand. Inhale. Exhale. And then from here, bring the hands in front. Hook your left thumb in front of your right. And inhale, reach it upwards. Breathe. And just remember where your hands were. And try to breathe into your imaginary hands. And then on your next exhale, hands come down. Step back into plank. Lower your knees. Keep those core and glutes working. And lower. Inhale, baby cobra. Low belly tries to pull away from the floor as you lift the heart. And then exhale, push the ground away as you lift up and back into down dog. Step your left foot forward, lower your right knee. Same thing, put your hands on your ribs, breathe into them without these ribs going forward. So this is too much. You want to harness them in. Good, and now hook your right thumb in front of your left and reach it forward and upwards. Last breath in. And then exhale, fingertips to the floor, step forward. Use your glutes, come up to stand. Shake it out, get water if you need it. this shirt specifically for this class. <laughs> okay. Let me sorry, my mic turned around. Okay. Let's do this. Let me know as we move if you have questions. Like I would love to answer them. Arms reach forward and up. Exhale, sit back in your hips. Hands come to the floor. Right leg comes back. Right knee lowers. Inhale, come up to this half kneel. So you're 90-90. Arms reach up. Left hand comes behind the back on top of that glutes and tr tries to get it to fire. Say hello. Right arm reaches higher. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Last breath in. And on your exhale, bring your fingertips to the floor or two blocks. And you're going to lift the hips up and back for a runner stretch. So both your knees are bent here. And try to think um, cobra in your back. So I'm not hunching over and rounding like this. I'm trying to pull my heart forward, but drop the chin. Ah, good. Yeah, that looks great, Angela. Yes, and then from here, you're going to land the hands and step back into plank. Now I'm going to give you the option to either stay here or hook your left toes over your right heel. Pull your inner thighs together. Feel the glutes work, the head lift. And then lower the left toes, lower your knees. You can stay here. You can lower to the floor or we're doing four push-ups if you wanna do them with me. So feel that core engage, the glutes work. You have four push-ups. You can lower an inch and lift an inch or you can lower halfway, up to you. I'm gonna lower an inch, two, three. And then four, lower all the way. From here, inhale, baby cobra. My shoulders draw together. 
Nice little break. Exhale, engage that core to help me push up and away into down dog. Walk your feet in a half step so you're kind of your bent knee. And lift the left leg to the height of the left hip. Bend the left knee. We've done this before. Circle in your hip. Keep that core pulling in. Yes. Good. And then go the other way because we don't want to forget that. And then go ahead and step the left foot as far forward as you can. And lift and turn to the right for goddess. And pause here. So I'm going to turn to face you because that's going to help you better. And from here, bring the hands to heart center and lightly feel the palms pushing into each other. And you're going to circle in the hips. So one knee bends while the other straightens. And it's kind of like if there was a line kind of coming out of my pelvis, it's drawing a circle. And these feel real good on the hips. <laughs> and go ahead and go in the other direction. I like to also call these roller coasters. Breathe in. And we're about to practice that Uddiyana Banda breath. So pause here in your goddess. Take a breath in. Exhale it all out. Just a normal breath. And then hook your right thumb in front of your left and reach it upwards. Take a breath here. And this is where you can practice that Uddiyana Banda. Exhale it all out. Let it out, let it out, let it out. And then hold. Pull the low belly in and up. Tuck the chin a little bit. And then inhale, slowly release. And exhale, cartwheel your hands towards the front of the mat, so towards your left leg. And step forward. Use the glutes to come all the way up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, feel the ribs close as you hinge. Step the left foot back this time. Lower the left knee. You can keep the toes curled under, arms reach up. Feel strong and supported. So it's like, are your abs ready? I don't know if you've ever like had somebody like try to like punch you in the stomach and then you go, huh. That's the feeling you want the huh. Right arm behind you. Reach the left arm higher. Breathe in. And then on your exhale, bring the fingertips to the floor. Runner stretch. Both knees are bent. You can lift the right toes. So this is great because your hamstrings attach to your hips. And your hips are the base of your breath. Good. Keep both of those knees bent so you can kind of pull from the center of the hamstring instead of at the bones. And then from here, go ahead and right toes land, hands land, step back into that plank. You can hook the right toes over the left heel or you can have both feet on the ground. Squeeze your inner thighs together, feel your glutes working. And then lower the right toes, lower your knees. You have four push-ups that are optional. So you can meet us on the mat or lower an inch and lift an inch. And as you lower, try to keep looking downwards, not forwards. Use your core. You don't want your chest to lift before your hips. You want the hips to come up too. Last one, lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra, lift the heart. Shoulder blades squeeze together. See if you can hover your hands off the floor this time. And then exhale, lower a little bit. Engage your core, engage your glutes to help you push up in a line and up into down dog. From down dog, lift your right foot, bend the right knee, circle in the hip. Notice here that my left knee is bent just to um, kind of help challenge that outer hip. Go ahead, open the other direction. And then you're gonna step that right foot forward, 
open up to the left side of your mat for goddess. So nothing is changing here. So if you're not facing me, don't worry about it. Just listen. Hands come to heart center and start to draw circles with your pelvis. So nothing moves. It's just my legs doing the work. And if you need that reminder, place your hands on your pelvis. Go ahead, go the other way. One way is always harder. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> Pause. Hook the left thumb in front of the right. Inhale, reach it forwards and then upwards. Exhale all your breath out. <sighs> Draw the low belly in and up. Inhale, slowly release. And then cartwheel your hands towards your right foot. Step forward and come up to stand. And shake it out. All right. Get a drink if you need one. Let's do our second sequence. And this one's a little bit more turny. So I'm going to demo now and then we'll, I'll demo in the in the sequence too, but the, it looks like this. You'll side lunge one way, inhale, you'll come back to the front of the mat, pull the knee in, step down and you'll exhale the other way, inhale, bring it up. And all you do is just repeat this. You're changing directions on your wrong foot, mat, exhale, ha, huh. exhale, inhale. So that is just a more complicated move than I've taught. <laughs> um, in the past few months, so I just wanted to show it here. All right, let's do three sun sal A's to get the heart going. Arms reach forward and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, you can lower all the way or lower your knees and lower all the way. Inhale, baby cobra, or you can do full up dog. Feel that your shoulder blades are coming together and down into your back pocket. And then exhale, down dog. Walk your feet in a half step. You can practice your Uddiyana Bandha here. So you breathe in. You exhale all the way out. And at the bottom of your exhale, feel that low belly pull up and in. And you can use that to help you step or jump towards your hands. And then inhale, come all the way up. You have this two more times. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, baby cobra or full up dog. Exhale, core engages, down dog. Step the feet in a half step. Feel like your down dog is bouncy. Breathe in. And at the bottom of your exhale, hold that retention, pull the low belly in, and step or jump towards your hands. You have one more. Inhale, come all the way up. Oof. Exhale, step back into plank. Lower the knees or lower all the way. Inhale, baby cobra or full up dog. Exhale, down dog, and hold in down dog. Who oh, no. knew? Okay, I hope I'm still live. My computer decided to, okay, we're good. Sorry, <laughs> my computer decided to be weird. Lift your left leg to the height of your left hip. Exhale, step the left foot forward and come up into crescent lunge. Good. Now I like to practice my crescent lunge with a bent back knee so my pelvis can be in neutral. So bend your right knee a little bit, squeeze that right glute, bring the hands to the ribs and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. This is our little check-in. And then from here, bring the hands, um, the left hand to the back, the right hand to the front of your low belly. And just feel those two areas lightly draw towards each other. From here, you're going to side lunge, 
to the right. So you turn to the right, side lunge to the right. Inhale, pull the right knee up as you come to the front of the mat. Step the right foot down. Exhale, open to the left, side lunge to the left. So my left knee is bent, my right leg is straight. And then inhale, left knee comes up. Step it down, exhale to the right. Inhale, pull the right knee up. Find that balance, exhale to the left. Pull the left knee up. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. And just keep going, you got it. Go back and forth. Use your breath. Exhaling and inhaling. And then you're going to pause to the left, holding a left side lunge. So my left knee is bent. And then you can just move left and right, just staying here. These are your adductors, the inner part of your thighs. And maybe you reach your arms out wide. Invite more space in. Good. And then from here, you're going to turn to the front of the mat. Left hand lands, left knee lands. Inhale, right arm reaches up, twisted crescent. Gaze looks at your right big toe. Try to breathe here under this kind of stress. Good, and then right hand comes down. Step back into down dog. Shake it out. Let's do the other side. Right leg lifts. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Organize your pelvis. Hands come to the ribs and breathe. And then from here, go ahead and turn to the left side lunge ha inhale left knee comes up exhale to the right pull the right knee up inhale and you can do this fast you can do this slow take your time it took me a, a little bit to understand i side lunge to the left and then i bring the left knee up and i'm like how do i balance that exhale to the right pull the right knee up you have one more and we'll finish on the right Exhale, side lunge to the right, and then just side lunge it out, left and right. So when you look down, you don't want your knees to be going forward like this. You want your hips to be going backwards. Good. Last one. From here, go ahead and turn back towards the left, towards the front of your mat. Right hand comes down, right knee comes down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. You can lift the right knee if that feels good. And breathe, try to pull your ribs away from that inner thigh. And then on your exhale, left fingertips come down. Step forward, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center and pause here. You can get water if you want to or just take a moment here to notice your breath. When our body kind of goes out of alignment, um, it doesn't put our breath in a great space to breathe because there's, it can't find room. So as we do more yoga, more strength, our breath can kind of be there a little bit more for us. Inhale, reach the arms forward, sit back into chair pose, Utkatasana. So the butt goes back, knees bend, arms reach here. And on your exhale, bring your hands to your hips 
and step the right leg back. So you're in a tilted crescent. My hip, shoulders aren't up, but they're leaning over. Feel this right glute fire. So tap it. Tell it, hey, work for me. And then you can place the right hand on the left thigh, left hand on your back. Stay here. Feel the low belly drawing in. Keep this, or maybe you hover your right toes off the floor. So now we're moving into more balance, challenging. Go ahead, use that right hand to help you. Yeah, Angela, that looks great. Keep your right toes on the floor, I like it. And then we're going into seated twist. So now your right fingers come to the floor. You slide your right leg behind the left and come down to sit turning to the left. You can kick your right leg out if you feel really kind of jumbled. And from here, just roll your shoulders. <sighs> and then left hand comes down, side bend to the left. Reach the right arm up and over, left ear to left shoulder. And then inhale, come up. Let's side bend to the right. Right hand down, left arm reaches up and over. And then inhale, come up. You're gonna turn to the right. So 90 degrees towards the front of your mat. Hands land, step back into down dog. From down dog, walk your hands back towards your feet for happy squat. So your knees bend, your ribs rest on your thighs. You can let your head hang here. And this is an opportunity to breathe into your back as well. So your ribs are constricted by your thighs and it can't breathe forward. So you can invite more breath into your upper back. And then inhale, use those glutes to help you come up to stand. Step your right foot forward and open to the left for warrior two. So right knee bent, left leg straight. Inhale, reach the arms opposite directions. Exhale, drop your left arm down your left leg as you reach the right arm up and over. Pull these ribs in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, right elbow to right thigh as the left arm reaches up and over. You can bring the right hand to the ribs and tell them pull back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, come up. And then step towards the front of your mat. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale, chair pose. Pause here. You can reach the arms up or bring them into heart prayer. Step the left foot back. You're in twisted, tilt, you're in tilted crescent, not twisted. Hold here. Bring the left hand to the right thigh, right hand to the back. Stay here. Or slowly shift weight into the right foot and lift your left leg. Ooh. Keep breathing, you got it. And then on your next exhale, left fingers come to the floor, bring the left thigh behind the right as you turn to the right for a seated twist. Roll your shoulders. You can kick the left leg out if you need to. And then go ahead and just turn to the left. Hands land, step back into down dog. Walk the hands back towards the feet for happy squat. So bend your knees. You can grab opposite elbows here. Shake the head yes and no. And then use those glutes to inhale, help you come up to stand. Step the left foot forward, 
open up to the right for warrior two last pose take a breath in exhale reverse inhale come up exhale left elbow to left thigh right arm reaches over inhale come up exhale reverse inhale come up step your right foot next to your left and come up to stand shake it out hello <laughs> all right from here here we go final countdown so everything that you're about to do right now you can either make a little harder or you can keep it the same and you get to choose that I don't so I always tell my students like if you want to listen to me great <laughs> um, in terms of that <laughs> if you don't you can um, kind of set your own tone so you don't have to do the push-ups you don't have to jump because there's a lot of opportunities to jump moving on um, into this flow so you do you <laughs> All I ask is that you pay attention to your breath and your alignment. Inhale, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, step your right foot back, lower your right knee. You can untuck your toes and arms reach up. From here, bring your left hand down and it's gonna press into your right inner thigh. So, Push into it as you side bend to the left. So it should look like this. Your hand is pushing into foot, kind of giving that, your hand is pushing into thigh, giving you that extra stability. And then inhale, come up. Exhale, fingertips to the floor and lift up and back into runner stretch. Hold here and runner stretch. Stay here or walk the hands forward, standing split. Walk it back, runner stretch. Walk it forward, standing L. You have the option here to hop off those left toes if you practiced handstands. Hmm. Good. Here we go, last one. Go ahead and hold in your runner stretch. Lower the left toes, lower the hands, lift the left leg up into three-legged down dog. Bend the left knee, circle in the hip four times one way, four times the other. And then imagine we're opening up into goddess after we step our left foot forward here in a moment. Breath in. And exhale, draw the low belly in. Step the left foot forward as you open up to the right for goddess. Pause, hands can come to heart center. You don't have to face me. And this is where you can make it interesting. You can start to pulse in your goddess this time. You can start to jump, you don't have to. Or you can reach the arms up, exhale, toss them down, and reach up. So you get to choose what difficulty you want to do. I'm just going to pulse. <laughs> and pause. Turn towards the left, back towards the front of your mat. So you're turning your feet to that tilted crescent here. Right hand can come to left thigh, left hand behind the back, or you could take it up into warrior three. So pause here. Use that right glute to help stabilize you. Yeah. And then here we go. Seated twist. Right fingers come down, right foot, right leg behind the left. And this time we're gonna do rolls. So bring your hands to your ribs and circle your ribs. So this helps free up the gunk a lot. Good, and then go the other direction. So use your fingers to help push your ribs in weird directions while you keep your, your butt on the floor. Good. And then from here, 
turn towards the front. So hands lance step back into down dog and walk the hands back for happy squat. Pause. You can stay here in happy squat and be happy. <laughs> or you can start your jump. So you inhale, reach the arms up, come onto the toes, exhale, hands to the floor, and you can jump. I'm not gonna jump because I have to work out later. <laughs> oh, last one. Come down into happy squat, walk the hands halfway forward and you can lower onto your elbows for dolphin. You can stay in dolphin, or if you have forearm balance in your practice, ugh, which <laughs> it's not happening for me today. There we go. You can hang out in forearm balance, or dolphin, or child's pose. And then from here, lower the toes, lower the knees, rest in child's pose for a moment. Ground down. And then on your next exhale, lift up and back into down dog. You are coming into right leg half moon. So inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, step the right foot as far forward as it can go. And then open up on the right, coming onto the right fingertips, lift your left leg. Ooh. Hands can come to the low belly or the ribs to help draw them in. Keep your right knee just a little bit bent. And then you'll come into warrior two. Take a breath in. Feel your feet are pushing your mat apart. Reverse. Inhale, come up. Exhale, variation. Right elbow to right thigh. Ha. Ah. Inhale, come up. This time, exhale. We're coming into side lunge on this left leg. So you're sitting to the left. Your right toes can come up. If you have skandasana in your practice, try to keep that left heel down and try to sit your butt as low as you can go without the heel lifting. Or you can stay up here with me because this still feels just as good. <sighs> Yeah, that looks great, Angela. And then from here, lower the right foot, turn towards the front of the mat. Left hand lands, left knee can land. Inhale, right arm reaches up. If you want to, you can also kind of lean forward a little bit more and reach the right hand back to grab the left foot. Breathe in. Maybe let the left ear fall to the left shoulder. And then gently release. Hands come down. Step forward. Inhale. Use the glutes to come on up. Here you go. Home stretch. Last side. And then we cool down. Inhale. Arms reach upwards. Exhale. Sit back. Hands come down. Step the left foot back, lower the left knee. Inhale, arms reach up. This time the right hand pushes into the inner part of the left thigh as you side bend to the right. Breathe into this left side body. And then inhale, come up. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, runner stretch. You know the drill, you can walk it forward, standing L, walk it back, run or stretch. Feel the low belly kind of holding in the whole time. Maybe you do some hops. And then pause, holding and run or stretch. Lower the right toes, coming into three-legged down dog. Hands land, right leg lifts. Bend the right knee. Circle four times one way. 
and then four times the other way. Keep drawing and you got it. Core is working. And then step that right foot forward, open up to the left. Ah, goddess. You can pause in goddess. You can start to bounce. You can start to hop off those toes. Or you can reach up high, throw it down, lift up. Whatever version you want to do. And then from here, pause. You're coming into right leg airplane, so turn to the right. Tilted. Option to lift the left toes. You can use the left hand on the right thigh. Whew. And then lower the left fingers. Bring your left thigh behind the right as you come down to seated twist. And you can start to roll those ribs again. And then go the other way. Good, from here, go ahead and turn to the left. Hands land, step back into down dog. Walk the hands back towards the feet, happy squat. Inhale, come up. Exhale, you can start to jump or you can stay in happy squat, up to you. That's good. All right, pause and happy squat. Walk it forward for an optional dolphin or a child's pose. We're almost done. Keep your knees as bent as you need them to be. And then go ahead, make your way into down dog. Step your left foot forward for half moon. So for you, Angie, Angela, I would just come up into uh, warrior two. So just skip half moon entirely and just hang out here in warrior two. Yeah, yep. And then all of us come into warrior two. Take a breath in. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, come up. Exhale, elbow to thigh, left arm reaches. Almost done, inhale. Exhale, reverse. And then inhale, come up. Side lunge to the right. So you're going to side lunge. Sit as far down as you want to. Those left toes can lift up. And then gently release. Turn towards. Mm. Trying to, we did this. We turn towards the left, lower the right knee. Twisted crescent, or you can reach back for that right foot. Oh, and give yourself a nice quad stretch. Starting to wind down the breath here. Gently release the right foot and come down to seated. Let's practice that Uddiyana Bandha two times and then we'll come down onto our back and do a little bit of myofascial stuff. So fingertips come in front or they can be by your side. Take a breath in, fill your lungs. Exhale it all out. Maybe even let your tongue go out and just draw the belly up and in. Inhale, slowly release. One more time, exhale. Let's just do one to kind of reset. Breathe in. Breathe out normally. Last one in. Exhale it all out. Pull the low belly up and in. And then inhale, gently release when you're ready. 
Go ahead and lie down on your back. I'm going to get closer to the camera so you can see where I'm touching. Um, but go ahead and lie down with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. And you're going to find your collarbones. So find your left collarbone with your right hand. And move this. You're going to take your fingers to them and like feel that padding underneath your left collarbone and just kind of start to push it gently away towards your left shoulder. So just take that and just gently push it away. And as you do this, just softly breathe. Good. And then maybe you start to get closer to your sternum, which is the center of your chest, and kind of melt that outwards towards your armpit. Let's do the other side. So go ahead and take your left hand below your right collarbone and just melt it towards that right shoulder head. So just take the tissue underneath of that bone. You can even like do this to it. Just slowly walk your fingers outwards. Good, and then maybe you start to take it more from the sternum, the center of your chest, out towards your armpits. I just realized I never played any music, I'm sorry. Oh. Good, and pause here. Take both your hands above your collarbone and just lightly press downwards, kind of in towards your body. So you're kind of just poking along that ridge line. You might find an area that's tight. So if you kind of find that area that's closer to your neck, you could turn left and right just a little bit. Good. And then gently release your hands away. And you can rest them on your heart, your hand, and your belly or you can just rest them by your side. As you just start to melt into your mat here, for the next few moments, probably 10 breaths here just to kind of reset before we go back out into life. <sighs> Two more breaths. And then gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, turning your head left and right. On your next inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And on your exhale, bring the knees into the chest. And then in your own way, come on up to seated. Hands come to heart center. Palms lightly press in towards one another. May you breathe well and move well throughout the rest of your day and week. Namaste. Thank you for coming. I hope you can I hope you breathe better.